Hello, hello guys. Let's talk about configure cube API server. So for this on the master, we need to edit the backslash etc slash default dash cube API server file, which we copied earlier. And as you can see at the top of the screen, now the format and the command for the same would be this quickly moving to configure the cube controller manager. For this, we need to add the following content in this file, which can be done like this, as you can see here. Next, configure the cube scheduler in the corresponding file, which you can see here. Once all the above tasks are complete, we are good to go ahead by bring up the cuber needs master. In order to this, we will restart the docker. which you can see here. Now let's quickly talk about Kubernetes node configuration. Kubernetes node will run two services, the kubelet and the kube proxy. Before moving ahead, we need a copy. To copy the binary, we download it to the required folder where we want to configure the Kubernetes node. Use the same method of copying files that we did for Kubernetes master as it, as it will only run the kubelet and the kube proxy. We will configure them as you can see here. Now we will copy the content to the appropriate directory, which I have done it here. We will configure the kubelet and kube proxy con files. Let me quickly, yeah. Now, for that, we will configure the etc init kubelet conf file. Now, you can see it here. You can see it here, yeah. For kube proxy, we will configure using the following command. This I have done it here. So finally, finally we will restart the Docker service. Now we are done with the configuration. You can check by running the following commands, which is by this. So for this lecture, it's very short. Uh, uh, let's take a pause. And in the next lecture, we will talk a few things about Kubernetes images and the commands associated with it. Thank you.